This is my Sephora, guys. <laughs> morning weekly vlog how are you doing i am 50 percent shy 50 percent sarcastic and 100 percent capricorn all right so i thought this morning i could go ahead and attempt the makeup routine that everyone's been wanting me to try it's the scott barnes makeup tutorial so i guess jlo's makeup artist scott barnes transformed her face in like a very specific way and I have seen some other people like attempt it um for videos like the makeup is so different like he starts with concealer it's so unique so I want to kind of like try to follow it oh here. my god this is so cool um her skin is popping yes girl I feel like my skin is finally clearing up like, I went through, like, oh my god, went through some stressful stuff outside of the camera, <laughs> and my skin was definitely feeling it, but I feel like it's finally cleared up, which is exciting. It's contouring not first. contouring on top of makeup. Sometimes it is, but All right. not usually. So I'm going to treat you as though we're... I'm so excited. I have to film today, so I want my makeup to be, like, popping. Uh, yeah, I'm primed already. So, I'm going to use all nighter, right? Oh, he's concealing, too. With this is he's highlighting and contouring. And you just use it to like eliminate stuff. I'll link her video down below. Gonna... So he's using like pretty uh pretty bright colors here. So I'm gonna use one of my lighter shades as well. Like I said, I'm primed and I'm putting it exactly where he's putting it. I'm gonna like literally do it the exact same way. This is so wild to be doing this first. He put it here, here. <laughs> I'm gonna play it on mute because I can see what he's doing and I don't want to like totally annoy you guys. All right, that was too much. And he also did it down the nose. And now he's like kind of gently buffing it out with a brush. And I just, and you can do this on yourself, which is very. I'm gonna fast forward and just keep blending it out the way he is. So excited to see how it turns out. He didn't finish the nose. So he's doing like a full, he's doing like a full jaw contour. He went down here. Like he, whew. <laughs> hey, what's up? Hello. It's natural. It's natural. It's snatched, but natural. I love that That's... so much. <laughs> I don't know if this is natural on my double chin. <laughs> oh, he is just like. He is contouring her whole like, neck. Like, clavicle, clavicle, give me clavicle. Bone. Like, clavicle. I mean, like, I know this looks V extra right now, but, like, this is exactly how it looks on Tati so far. So, I mean, I'm feeling pretty darn good. <laughs> like, this is literally how hers looks. Okay. Like, <laughs> all right. Oh, he is contouring her lips. Okay, okay, okay. Um... All right, first he's doing the nose. He has not blended any of the nose, but he's literally just done like a tiny little nose. And now he's contouring the lips. Okay, I'm just, uh, he yeah. is putting oh, yes. makeup her on her chest, but I'm wearing a high neck and shirt, so. so. Oh, he's putting foundation color. on. But Tell I'm me what, she's, what you're doing. Oh, so he's putting on a lighter foundation on top of everything now, but he's okay, so dabbing. Instead of just eliminating that lip, we're just patting all very gently. Okay. I wonder if I'm allowed to use a sponge. I hate brushes. Really, no one else does that. It's where you just do the, the contour under and then you do. It's pink. You know, listen, I work with light and dark pink. <laughs> You've got this white hand. Oh my god, we're putting this away. I need to spray tan. Oh my god. But if you don't have time for spray tan, you could. Oh. Alright, I mean, oof. Thankfully, I found a brush really similar to his. So he's taking a lighter coverage 
foundation now and just starting to lightly work that over everything. So I'll just keep doing that. Okay, so it looks like it's time for blush. He's gonna be using a cream blush. Blush brush when you do powders. And I was talking about it with your okay. brush specifically. You just oh, pat everything oh, in oh, place. Oh, 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 so using airspun. Oh, he's highlighting her now. And he used a big fan brush like mine. And he just like, he really just like got in there and he really like blended it. So it's no, there's no harsh lines. When she moves, it's just like a solid, like, glow on the skin. He also was very precise down her nose. Like it was like a pretty straight line. Thankfully I just washed all my brushes here. Like he did like a full line of highlight. This doesn't look as good as his. Highlighting her brow bone. So funny, I did a shoot with this woman one time. Thank Highlighting you. the inner corner. It's warmer. Okay, so we have some Twitter questions. He sets with sunscreen. It's Ooh, um, it? ultra sheer body mist sunscreen at 30. Okay, so now it looks like he's gonna go in. He did that on her chest. So that's like makeup for your body. We're not doing that. I think he's gonna contour now. His brushes look good. I might have to invest. Just wanna show you two strokes. Two strokes yeah. of bronzer. He's doing dab. A bit of powder. Dab. It's beveled so that you can work with the color. Oh, now he's brush. kind of blending it. Okay. I have no brushes that look like his. Like that is that is some sort of sorcery brush. I'm gonna have to get one. Oh my god. Like maybe if I like his brush was kind of like shaped like that. Like he kind of like do 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 and then he went like do 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 do. I mean, it looks sharp I like that. So that Is he gonna blend it? Not think about it. I hate when it looks like there's a strike. So let's toast the edges. Toast the edges. Do you remember Made in Manhattan? Let's talk about that for a second. <gasps> Who doesn't love that movie? <laughs> <laughs> so remember the beauty scene when she becomes Cinderella? Yes. Remember the makeup? Yes. Overlined and like kind of did a soft circle at the top. A lot of his motions are like flicking outward. I don't know. I like his techniques. I might use these in my day to day life, but this is like stage makeup. This is like to be seen from all angles on stage. Like, this is not super normal. And he went like super glossy on her lips and like focused it inward and then like flicked it outward and it's very like nude just trying my best with what I got y'all pretty close but like very nude shimmer I told myself I would relax this morning that I would do a simple makeup look <laughs> Here I am, laughing at myself internally, like always. All right, he's doing her eyebrows with a secret product. I'm gonna try to follow his technique. So he's using an ankle brush and like kind of a glittery, shimmery brow gel. All right, so I'm gonna use the same technique he did with the brows. All right, guys, so I am wrapping up the brows using a lighter shade for a gel like he did. Um, whew. He's about to get into the eyeshadow look. So I'm gonna grab a palette that looks like it's gonna have similar colors. Actually, yeah, the Milani Gilded Nude. And I'm gonna try my best. Wish me luck. Here we go. I prime my eyelids. Let's do this. Oh no, he's not doing eyeshadow. He's contouring again. Oh. All right. Hopefully that 
jawline contour doesn't look so crazy. But I'm doing it like he's doing. I don't know if this is for chubby faces or not. So, for his eyeshadow look, he said he's using one eyeshadow. So, I need to make sure I pick the right color. Alright, I think I found the perfect color for me to do this. The talent is in the brush. Ooh! Stunting. Stunting. So, he's kind of like working it in a circle shape on her eye first. I am sold on these brushes though. Like, I'm gonna buy them. I'm gonna buy them right after this. This is like 100% on a whim, guys. I was not planning to do this this morning, <laughs> but here I am. <laughs> here I am. Okay, so I just finished. I threw on a <clears throat> tiny bit of that eyeshadow under my eye like he did and threw on mascara and lashes and here is the look. Um, it's definitely like stagey, um, great for on being on camera. It's a little bit intense, but I do think it looks really, really nice. I think the eyeshadow colors are so pretty and I do think it makes a big difference doing your contour first. I think I'd probably skip the jawline situation, like having a chubby face and a double chin. It, I don't know if it really <laughs> works for that, but um, I don't know. I like it though. I do think it is really pretty though. And I did end up ordering his brushes and his eyelashes in Vanessa, like he put on her and the ones that um, JLo wears a lot. So, all right, I'm gonna go get my work done. And I'll catch up with you guys later today. It's Tuesday today. I took yesterday off because it was President's Day. Yara was home and we kind of like chilled, but also worked. I don't know. It was a nice day. Okay, so I got a bunch of new clothes from Boohoo. I'm in a spring state of mind. I'm also going on vacation next month. So I wanted to do a little haul. A little try on haul, shall we? I'm also filming a what I eat in a day right now, today, with some of my favorite like day-to-day -day foods. So that'll be up in a few days. Okay, I am obsessed with matching sets lately. And Boohoo's one of my favorite places to get affordable, trendy clothing. But I really like their plus sizes. Like look how cool this matching set is. It says basic. <laughs> And then it has these lime sweatpants that also say basic. I'm going to put this on last because I know myself. I'm going to want to wear that around the house for the rest of the day. <laughs> Huge shout out to Boohoo for sponsoring this portion of the vlog. Love working with Boohoo because I've been buying from them for years and I still buy from them all the time. So when we get to work together, it's the best. Okay, so first I just picked up this outfit, which I can still wear in the winter. I am so into green lately, so I just got these ripped skinny jeans they're nice and high-waisted just a little bit of distressing and then i grabbed this long sleeve ribbed shirt it's really stretchy really comfortable i think the color is so pretty and it's got like thick ribbing like i think this top will look super cute tucked into like any style pants and it's just a really nice winter to spring color okay so this is perfect for vacation like this color, oh my gosh, it's so iconic. You're gonna wanna wear skin colored underwear, but I love like the flare leg. I don't know, this just like totally screams vacation vibes. It's super stretchy and comfortable. And you know how Florida can, can go to Florida next month. You know how it can be like a little chilly at nighttime? This would be the perfect going out outfit. Okay, so another way to style this outfit, cause the pants have a tie as well attached to them. You could just style it with like a plain t-shirt if you don't want to have, you know, a monochromatic look with the same colors, but um, I just love these pants. I apologize that my underwear are black, <laughs> but just get yourself some nude underwear and you'll be good to go. Ugh, this shirt's also from Boohoo. It's the actual softest white tee. Like it's the coziest, softest fabric. I love this little tie that's like incorporated on the pants. All right, so this is one of my favorite looks that I've been wearing so much throughout the winter that's great for spring, is this kind of oversized sweater look 
like French tucked into a midi skirt. So I just paired this kind of camel color skirt with a bunch of ruching, which I find so flattering. And then I just did a little side tuck on this blue sweater. Um, and I just think it's so adorable. It's such an easy way to look put together, but it's super comfy. Like this skirt is so stretchy and soft. The sweater is obviously comfortable and you just look kind of put together without having to really try. Throw on some booties with it. I even feel like sneakers could look really cute, some tennis shoes. I don't know, but you can really use this style like in so many different ways, like taking an oversized sweater, doing a little tuck in the front um, with any sort of skirt, even if it's not like fitted, um, more of a flowy midi skirt. I've been doing that a lot as well, but I just think it's kind of a unique, really cute outfit. Now, if you want to elevate this skirt a little bit more and go a little bit more dressy, I threw on this bodysuit. It's off the shoulder. It has ruffle detailing along the neck, along the sleeves with a balloon sleeve effect. This is such a good outfit with some black heels, a little date night, wear it to the office. Like, ugh. I just love this. I love a ruched pencil skirt. It just makes me feel really comfortable and it's like just so flattering. Really, really nice. I love this. I love this bodysuit. I am so into bodysuits lately. I'm finally on the bandwagon. They're great. Okay, so this is gonna be also a huge staple when I'm on vacation. I also just can't wait for like spring and summer so I can wear this kind of stuff again. I love animal print. So we have this midi zebra dress. I love the neckline on it because it's like, a V with kind of a U shape in the middle. So it's really unique, really pretty. It's got a really nice like firm stretch to it. It feels really good on the body. Just throw on some cute little sandals, flip flops, wedges, and denim jacket if it's chilly. Oh, so cute. And this is pretty simple, but I wanted to show you guys how cute is this little nighty? It says love yourself with a kiss and it is the softest fabric. Perfect for sleeping guys, you need this. I need you to touch it. I need you to order it and touch it. It is like butter on your skin. And it's like that nice cool material. It's perfect for sleeping. Boohoo is also one of my favorite places to grab just like comfy, oversized to fit sweaters, crew neck, sweatshirts, um, loungewear. So this one just says Maine, which is cool because I'm in the New England area. So I just picked this up. I love the color. It's super soft and cozy. And then I picked up this adorable lounge set, which I showed you guys. And it's this really pretty, almost like gray toned green. And it says, basic, cause I'm basic. But I love this, it's so comfortable. Great for lounging around, working at home. I love a matching set. And I also always pick up some plain white tees from Boohoo as well. I will link down below everything that I got for you guys in case you wanna grab it and be twinsies. But I love Boohoo so much. Love all these pieces. Can't wait to wear them. I'm gonna hang out in this for the rest of the day. And uh, let's continue the vlog. Okay guys, so it is now 3.20 in the afternoon. I finished filming. I took off my makeup because I like to take my makeup off <laughs> when I'm done filming and let my skin breathe. It's 3.20 and I completely forgot I have a dentist appointment at 3.45 and I have to get a filling on like an old cavity or an old filling that's like needs to be replaced or something. And thankfully my dentist's office is like 10 minutes away and I'm going to go, but I'm really sad about it. I totally forgot. Thank God though I just saw the email reminder. How did I, I like, oh God. I put everything in my calendar. I'm a very calendar oriented girl, but for some reason I didn't look at my calendar this morning and I usually do. And now I have to go to the dentist. I'm just really sad about it. I just don't want to do this. I don't I don't like doing this. Okay. I'm going to go. I'm going to go now. Oh my god. <laughs> my mouth is so <laughs> It's so numb. Oh my god. <laughs> I haven't had a filling in years. I haven't needed one. And this is just like... Um, it was replacing an old filling. So... <laughs> Oh my god, and my whole upper lip is numb on this whole side, but I love my new dentist. He is so fast. Like that literally took like 10 minutes. I'm listening to views. I can't rub that side of my lips together. That's so funny. Okay guys, good morning. Today is now 
Wednesday and we are heading to New York. I have some meetings over the next few days, so Yara took the days off and we are gonna go to New York. We're taking the train. We usually drive, but he has a lot of schoolwork to do. Yar is working on his second master's degree. You little smarty pants, you little smarty pants. So we're gonna take the train, because he usually drives, and he's going to do some work. I downloaded a bunch of YouTube videos, including the Reality House Season 2 reunion, so I'm gonna watch that. So I am bringing my little coach backpack. I have a couple trail mixes in here. I'll show you guys what I packed. My wallet, um, some CBD if I get anxious on the ride, some little makeup, my glasses, some wet ones, wipes, gum, um, and then a little pocket in the back. I have like AirPods and keys and stuff. But this is like the perfect size backpack because it fits a lot, but it's like really pretty small and compact. So, And then we have our away luggage. We both have away <laughs> and he, yeah he packed us up last night but he's at work so i'm gonna be picking him up from work early and then we're gonna hit the train so he had to go into work this morning so let's go to new york huh okay guys we're heading to new york on the train i've only been on the train once and my mom and i accidentally sit in the quiet car and it was a struggle so that's a rookie mistake. It's a rookie mistake. Mr. New York over here teaching me the right way to do the train. He picked us up some sweet green for dinner. He got my favorite water. I think this, I think I want I think I want to be with you forever, baby. Hey. <laughs> okay, we just got to our hotel. We made it. We made it. <laughs> hours and hours later. There is a CVS right across. Super convenient. Do you want to get it now? Not really. We're too tired. <laughs> Let's go. So we're yeah, right. We are such old people. We're staying at the Art House Hotel. Where's the door? Oh, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Made it to our room. Super cool hotel. The Art House. I think I already said that. But look how cool. Very cool art. Hi guys, good morning. Here's a little OOTD. I'm wearing my American Eagle mom jeans, my fave. Golden Goose sneakers. And then this top is from Boohoo. And then a little belt for a little French tuck moment. So, I'm off to a bunch of meetings. Yara's gonna do his own thing today. Maybe you'll vlog, will ya? Oh, should I take over the camera for a day? I mean, yeah, because... No, 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 no. Don't even say it's like, we get like 3,000 likes or 3,000... No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. But I'm not gonna be able to vlog when I'm at meetings, so do you want to take Ozzy? Sure. Have fun. Here's some of yours day. Good morning, guys. So, today, I'll be taking over the camera while Alex goes to some of her meetings. Um, right now, it's about 8-ish in the morning, and we're about to go grab breakfast, so... This is Yarman doing a vlog. It's weird. I'm still here. We're in New York City, <laughs> my favorite city in the world. No, Montreal. And that comes a second. I have to keep it real. All right. But Montreal's pretty dope. Say hi to the camera, Alex. Hello, good morning. Woo. Yeah, so I'll take you guys throughout my day. I'm planning to go out for a run in Central Park, get a haircut grab some food and we'll see what else the city got in store for me so so I just dropped off Alex um, well an Uber just picked her up and now I'm on my way back to the hotel we're staying at this hotel called the art house hotel it looks pretty cool in there it's like very um, cozy and comfortable with a bunch of couches last night there was a band playing so I'm gonna just hang out for a bit rest up before my run and enjoy the rest of my day all right, guys, so it's about 10 a.m. Alex just got done with the first meeting. Um, I spent the first half of my morning actually studying for school, but uh, now it's time for a workout. Usually what I like to do during my workouts, especially on the go, is to uh, use two Nike apps, the Nike Run Club and the Nike Training app. So usually what I like to do, I like to warm up using this app here. I feel like this app's really good. Right now I'm in a program doing some yoga Yoga's one of the toughest workouts I've ever done, believe it or not. Um, but my phone wants to work. 
I, I usually do a lot of running warm-ups before my runs. Today I'm going to go out for a run, so I usually just do this workout here. And then I'm going to go for my run. I ran in Central Park before, but it seems like there's a lot of people today because it's sunny out, so we'll see how it goes. But, um, yeah. All right, hold up. Before I start my workout, I want to keep talking about this app. This app's pretty cool. Um, let me see if I can flip over. So you can see there's so many workouts in this app that, you know, with just basic gym equipment, you can get a good workout in. Um, I think I'm looking at the premium workouts. I am subscribed to them, but they have a bunch of free workouts. I used to use this app before they became a premium service, but they still offer their free classes here. Um, and I usually do these workouts when, again, I'm in a hotel room or at the hotel gym outside of my home base gym back in Massachusetts. But yeah, that's that. I just got the check for the positive 750 for the sound wave to get it processed Won't stop to that shit Weighing down my pockets My main things to my main thing She a blossom When she eats the pain with the brain She a doctor She open up Then a thing thicker than the plot gets Swear that shit is awesome Sight for the optics Double check the score and shit High off with a dove Shed a tear off a dove On top Nike's all I'm rocking So that all they see is checks From where the head to where the socks fit No logo on the bifocal Flicking old road tips Won't even show my face Until all the shows But even cash in advance Leave them all so shook I'm the guy they chosen Rise up like the rose And put them on a poster All the way up in the sky Where the stars posted Sip it on that rose I put it down on coasters Stack francs from the waves Till I own the ocean More praises for the sayings Let it all soak in They like hey that shit is flame Bitch I know I rode it Going tight Dumb Dre when it old four shit Heavy up the four roses that shit is poet from the code to the globe wrap on the rose all right guys so i just finished my seven minute warm-up using that app that i just showed you now i'm on my way to central park to start this workout um so the app i use for this it's actually the nike run club app i've been using it for about like since like 2013 and um one of the cool features that i like about it that now they've been introducing audio guided runs, which you can download this workout on my Apple Watch. So I downloaded it on my Apple Watch and it guides me throughout the run what pace I should be running at. It guides me through a warm up run and make sure that I'm hitting the right effort at each interval. For this workout, I think the workout's gonna be 60 minutes long, around 60 or 65 minutes. And it's gonna be a speed run, mixed in with some long duration. Actually, let me look at my watch now, tell you the exact workout, but it should be fun. And I enjoy the fact that I'm going to be running in Central Park just because I won't have to deal with cars or crosswalks or anything like that. So, so I just got to Central Park now. See, like there's some people running down there. It's looking nice. I'm a bit salty right now because it was like a quarter mile walk and I warmed up. But your boy at 32 degree weather is wearing shorts so i don't know how good that warm-up did but hopefully my muscles are still a bit stretched out for this workout so we'll see how we'll do oh yeah this looks familiar i ran this before okay so the workout i'm gonna do it's from the nike run app the nike run club app it's called long strong and fast and it's a 67 minute run uh it's gonna be a speed run and it's going to be a five minute warm up with eight minutes at 10k pace, four minutes at 5k pace, and then two minutes at my mile pace. And I'm gonna do that three times. Um, <laughs> there's a three minute recovery after the 10k pace, a two minute recovery after the 5k and mile pace intervals. So we'll see how it goes. Um, getting kind of hungry. So hopefully I have the energy. I think I hydrated well. just finished my workout right now it was a really good one what surprised me was that 
I ran an entire lap of Central Park. That's crazy. That's really crazy. I think I ran a total of about like 5.63 miles or something like that. And uh, it was a good run. One thing I like about the app is that if you're going through these runs, what's good about the audio guided runs is that it's not based on how fast you can go, but more based on how the amount of effort you give. So they were describing that a 10K mile, a 10K pace, um, you should be striving for a six out of 10 effort. And for a 5K pace, you should be striving for a seven to eight out of 10 effort. And then for your mile pace, it's closer to a nine out of 10 in terms of effort. So I think it's pretty scalable through all abilities and people who are starting to run or never ran before. They have different types of workouts that range from like five minutes to one mile to all the way up to marathon type training. So, and the best part of it that it's free completely free so if you haven't tried it before try the nike run club app in the app store and you won't be disappointed because running right now i might be hurting but i feel amazing so alex's meetings got pushed up to 2 30 so i'm going back to the hotel now i'm gonna shower run to the barber shop get a quick cut and then i'll link up with her later so i'm back at the hotel room I can't tell if I'm used to this vlog thing yet, but um, I figured I'd do a little tech segment of the equipment and technology that I took throughout my run today. And the best things that allow me to run very freely are an Apple Watch and these Beats headphones here. What's kind of cool throughout the run is that I had the audio saved from the Nike Run Club app on my watch since they have an Apple Watch app. And then I also had some music downloaded here so I can listen to music and still listen to the audio guided run while I was going on my run. And then I paired my Beats headphones here. These are pretty cool because I, I like consider these like AirPods, but AirPods for while you're working out. So as you can see, there's no wires and there's nothing that would like, you know, like obstruct your movement or something like that. So these are pretty good. They sound really good. Um, but I wouldn't wear them for too long. I had them on for an hour, but after like two hours or three hours, when I use this in the office, there um, you get ear fatigue, so your ear starts hurting or whatnot. But for my shoes, I have I'm a big Nike fan, so I have the Nike Epic Reacts. Um, I think these are I think they're in Generation Two now. They have a second version that came out, and they also have like a uh, a newer one that came out that um, I think it just came out like two months ago that helps prevent injuries. But these are really good because these are like very cushioned. Um, I'm a heavier set dude. I'm weighing like 245 pounds. And um, these are really good. And, you know, I ran with these in an hour and like my knees feel okay. I don't feel like like it absorbs the shock really good. Um, and yeah, they're plush, not too plush that you lose stability, but enough um, plush that will absorb that impact again and give you kind of propel you off the ground. Um, and they're really lightweight for what they are. So I highly recommend these. Uh, for running. Can never go wrong with some pizza. Carb up after a run. <laughs> So I just got back from getting a haircut. Let me know what you guys think down below. I went somewhere midtown near Times Square, uh, Park Avenue City Barbershop. Um, Alex should be taking an Uber back to the hotel, then we're gonna go grab dinner, and then I'm gonna hand off this camera back to her. Thank you for tuning in. This is Yarman, signing out. Sup, little bit. So, quick update. <laughs> Alex came from all her meetings and we immediately t took a nap. Knocked out. Yeah, we knocked out. Um, can I officially pass this camera off to you? No. For the rest of the night? No. Yes, I, I can. I bet you're doing a good job.
We're doing a good job. We're doing a good job. Yo. Say hi to your people. Hi. Good morning. It's like five o'clock. We accidentally slept with the window open, and it was 50 degrees when we woke up. And we're both really tired for some reason. I think. Well, I'm tired because meetings make me tired. <laughs> but you're tired. Because your life is busy and you went for a long run. I can't wait to see all the footage you took. We made dinner plans at this burger place. I had a light lunch and I'm super hungry. So we're gonna go to dinner and I'll see you guys soon. I'm gonna touch up my face. I'm gonna have dinner. Okay. Alright, we got like 20 minutes. Let's go. No. All right, we just got to dinner. Look at this cutie pie with his hair cut. You're so cute. We're at, um, are they so good? Those are the best pickles ever. They're so good. So we're at Five Napkin Burger. And it's super cute in here. It's very cute and ambiance -y. We've got a little candle. And the pickles are delish. It's on Broadway, right? Is that on Broadway? Yeah. All right, so this is day two of us being in New York City. Um, Alex is in a couple meetings. I'm feeling a bit stuffy. Maybe it was the run I did uh, yesterday. After dinner last night, we went to a theater across the street and watched Bad Boys, uh, the new Bad Boys movies. It was pretty good. Um, had a couple laughs. Brought me back to when I was, I don't know. Ugh, that movie came out in the 1990s, I think. But I didn't see it until maybe I was maybe 13 or 14. So, yeah, we had fun. We came back and fell asleep. But now she's in a bunch of meetings today. And she left the vlog camera. So I figured I'd update you guys on what's going on in day two. Um, most of the morning this morning, I've just been working. Um, I really didn't do much. It's been in the hotel room. I went to the lobby. The lobby is pretty dope downstairs um, at the Art House Hotel. Um, so I just got a lot of work done. I'm trying to get a workout in. I'm going to check out the gym, um, here and maybe do like a treadmill run or something. Um, yesterday was pretty intense. So I'll take it easy today and probably just stretch out a little bit. So yeah, she should be back around four. It's currently, uh, what time is it now? It's currently 2.20. Um, and then we're just planning to have dinner, just hanging out. Um, we are planning to make more New York trips. We love this city. So, um, maybe a potential meetup i don't want to speak for her so but i'm sure she wouldn't mind and yeah and then we'll update you on the rest of the night she should be back again like around four not that it matters to you guys this is all just going to be clipped up in the videos but i'm just rambling on right now since i didn't get much footage today of anything um but yeah we're leaving tomorrow morning back to our home and we have other plans so I guess I will catch you guys later. She's back. And more tired than ever. <laughs> How you doing? I'm so tired, hi, Bubba. Yeah. This was a long day of meetings because they added an extra one at the end. Oh, really? Yeah. The last one wasn't supposed to happen. Okay. Yeah. That was like a full work day of being. I think the vlog misses you. Yeah, I miss the vlog too. Yeah. Fortunately, we're going to rest, so. <laughs> How was your day? Um, I've been in this building. You didn't leave the building? Well, I did to grab lunch. I went to a food truck. Right. Some, I think it was, I think it was Indian food. How was it? Somewhere. It was good. Yeah. It wasn't bad. Um, it was good. But. You got a lot of work done? Yeah, a ton of work done, which is good. I kind of just checked off boxes in my list yeah you know and that's always a good thing that's but, good. um yeah are you? you are a productive motherfucker i was telling them we need to come down here more to new york yeah for sure and not and not only for meetings but like for like fun, fun stuff yeah yeah we need like a fun trip to new york yeah we need a fun Which trip like no work just yeah. like vlog but like yeah. meetings yeah yeah I love that. I was going to just take my pants off because I forgot we were vlogging. Yeah, you're being recorded. What do you got to say to them? I miss you. I love you. Thanks for being 
great. Thanks for being part of the tribe. The fearless tribe. Yeah, yeah. And good night. Um, what are we doing tonight? I don't know. How'd you like the movie last night? It was great. Bad Boys was good. Yeah? It was really good. Better than I thought it would be. Yeah. I didn't know how it would be. That's the second one so far. Oh, well, off the first one. I don't remember any of them. Like I, I, I like remember watching them, but I don't remember like the storyline. So it was good that I was able to follow it without like. Yeah, you, didn't, you don't really have to see the first one. Yeah. There's like a few parts of it that are funny. Yeah. Like with that, with the daughter's husband. The daughter's husband. That guy. Yeah. Yeah. That was funny. Yeah. Hi, buddy. We're at dinner. We are at PJ Clark's. Recommended by a couple gals from today. He got chicken pot pie for dinner, and I got salmon. So, let's see how it is. I know people are going to ask. These are from Warby Parker. But, um, we're going to go to Best Buy after this. It's kind of late. It's 8 o'clock. But when I got done with my meetings around 4, he was finishing up work. Oh, you didn't tell me that my hair was all crazy. It's not a, uh, what's that term you had? With a peacock. My cockatoo? Yeah. With my bangs? Yeah. Follow me on TikTok, then you'll know. Yeah. But um, he finished up his work. I laid down and watched TikToks for two hours. And now we're at dinner. <laughs> and we're going to head over to Best Buy after this. And just walk around the city. Enjoy our last night. We're going home tomorrow. You call it TikTok therapy. TikTok therapy. It's... It's a thing. My therapy. The salmon looks so good. Oh my god, it's so crispy. And there's your chicken pot pie. <laughs> and in honor of our last night in the city, let's eat some cake. All right, Best Buy time. I'm gonna be fast because there's copyrighted music blaring in here, but we're getting some of our favorite lights because we use the Apple Home app or whatever <laughs> to do our lights. And he, it's it's his world actually. He got them from his old apartment and he's brought them to the house and now I'm obsessed with them. We're basically like having a smart home. <laughs> Always. This is my Sephora guys. <laughs> That's the quote of the, yeah. of the 2020 already. All right, we're walking home from Best Buy. <laughs> Yarman gave me his hat because it's so cold. I look crazy. <laughs> you look crazy. Hi, my name is Gracie. If you know that TikTok, comment below. All right, guys, we're on the train. I'm editing the vlog right now. Yar's relaxing for once. Good for him. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little New York vlog. Shout out to this guy for taking lots of clips when I was in meetings. If you think he did a good job, give him a big thumbs up. And I'll link his channel down below because he posted his first video and I'm so proud of him. He put in lots of work, so go show him some love. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this nice long vlog. Bye.